the proper young player. I think young players should be teenagers, not guys who are 20 like Palmer's Dwi. Game tano guys. Game tano about Game tano about Mbili. My friend, that guy is yeah. not against Liverpool. Okay, so what? Even the commentator lacked words to commentate to when that moment happened. That's moment of the season. He did not ask you. One thing I hate about Arsenal fans, they should be competing with City, but they compare themselves to Man United every single time. Why? So the first question, this is for the Premier League. Who was the player of the season? Player of the season. Um, it's a bit easy. I would go with player of the season. I have to say, I feel like I, I know there's one guy who we are not going to mention. Oh, we are going to mention, but he's not going to get the award. How do you get? No. Mm -hmm. Oli Watkins. Ah, no, 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 no. He can't be player of the season. I, no, I know he's not going to get the award, but he has to get some proper praise because, I mean, nine, having the most assist as a striker. Still, I think he was fourth in the highest top scorers. That's a huge feat on getting Villa. Okay, it's not single-handedly, but his contribution, of course, got Villa to top four from Conference League to Champions League. So, I would go with Cole Palmer, player of the season. I would go with Phil Foden. For me, it's all about the impact. The impact is winning the league. Cole Palmer's impact is saving Chelsea from what relegation and getting them Europa League. Yes. Nah, they're not, even, they're not even guaranteed of Europa League. But I mean. For him to score, to, to have 33 goal involvements. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, that's huge. And it's, it's his first season at Chelsea. Yeah. It's, it's probably his first season that he's played regular football. Yeah. At City, he wasn't playing regu regular football. So I would go with Cole Palmer. Yeah, I don't deny that. He has a huge impact. But I think the overall impact for me is winning the league. So I'll go with Phil Foden. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. And I don't like saying that, but it is what it is. Manager of the season. Ooh. Could he just go off the cuff here? Mm -hmm. Don't have to go for the obvious ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Not, Pep, right. Emery. not for you, like, it can be obvious, but what would you think? I, I, there are some two guys I want to shout out for. Sean Dyche. Two times he has been deducted points by Garden Premier League. And he has still saved Everton from relegation. Because, I mean, uh, Joata Nottingham did quite deducted once, and then were just about to be relegated. But I think Sean Dyche deserves a huge shout, as well as Iraola. It all like come Alianza Vibaya and then he just picked on man. They played quite well. Dominic Solanke was banging goals for fun. He, they came to United, they clapped you guys a good one. And you look after top ten, by the way. Weirdly, they finished twelve. Uh, yeah. I knew United had to sneak in somewhere, but man, my manager of the season, Unai Emery. I mean he took Aston Villa when they were in the relegation places last yeah. season. Uh, he's taken them to Champions League football. Semi-finals of the Conference League, I think. Yes. I mean, they've had an exceptional season. So I would go for Unai Emery. Yeah, but overall, it has to be Pep. Yeah, of course, of course. It has to be Pep, but no one wants to talk about that. I mean, who wants to talk about financial fraudsters? I well, don't. 115 charges FC. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Who has been the most disappointing team? Hey, this is easy. There's one of us who's representing it here. And it is not me. <laughs> <laughs> The most disappointing team is Arsenal. They can How do you leave the table for, I don't know, how, 70 over, days, bro. Ah, bruh, bruh. Liverpool, nah. Liverpool, you are the most number of days ah, on top. Ah, so ah, it can't ah, be ah, Arsenal ah. here. It has to be guarding Manchester ah. United. I mean, four play without penetration. What's the, what's the need of that? You guys are not even involved in four play at all. Yeah, but, I mean, why do you involve yourself in four play if you're not going to penetrate? Nah, at bro. least that's we didn't have. We, we did penetrate. There are a number of days you were on top of the league. I thought you mentioned ah, a number of days somewhere. On, yeah. It has to be Manchester Arsenal, United. Arsenal. I'll Arsenal. be honest, we have had a fantastic season as rivals. Arsenal. Arsenal is the, anybody the best would say that. I mean, go to the streets and ask guys. Arsenal the, is the, the most lowest finish team. ever. Most losses since June 1993, bro. Most goal conceded since God knows when. 1977. Aye. Bro, <laughs> come on, man. These are records, they're just but terrible. It's us. Arsenal is the most... I mean, we are happy that they lost, but they're disappointing, man. We, I mean, it's too predictable. The script is the same. Season oh. in, season out. Okay. They <laughs> top, then they don't win the league. I see. Like, did you have expectations with us? Yeah, I kind of expected you guys... Oh, so you had expectations about Arsenal, bro? Like, no, yeah. Because you can't with your team. That, that's how disappointing they were. No, so, no, we no, cannot no, have no. Arsenal is the most disappointing team in the league, man. Yeah, I mean, this team should okay, be look, disbanded. There was no expectations with Manchester United. Yes. Yeah, Arsenal. Which, 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 which team do you feel was more disappointing, United or Arsenal? Duh. Arsenal, because as we started the season with disappointment, yeah. them they gave us some throw and we thought they were actually oh going to win the league. Oh my God! No way, bro! Ah, you guys were in the man. Champions League. Muli talk group stages. Do you remember that? You had a guy who was a top scorer in the Champions League and got absolutely nowhere. Yeah, but I mean, we didn't win those Muli games, bro. 
Okay, you, you did. guys won and you were eliminated by Munito a Bayern, a Bayern team that is the worst in 100 years. You finished last season as third, you finished eighth. Disappointment galore, that's it. End of story. Okay. Who's been the young player of the season? I guess that doesn't make sense because you had uh, Foden. No, no, but for me, I would give someone else. Okay. Yeah, young player of the season, I think for me, I'll give Cole Palmer. 33 GN is just mad playing in a mediocre team like Chelsea. So I'll go with Cole Palmer. I would go with Kobe Maino. Young player of the season. Game Tano. Game Tano, guys. No, it's a game Tano about Billy. My friend, that guy scored yeah. against Liverpool. Okay, so what? We actually helped you guys. He, he that day you were celebrating, I saw he, you. He hung Chan and Mr. he hung Liverpool. Mr. Jabron, I saw you that day celebrating my news goal. When? Why, why you not you? Why you not you? So, but more just say against Liverpool, your benchmark. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, um, I'll go with that. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll, I'll go with that. Be idiot. You a talker. It is. It is. <laughs> in terms of goals, but in terms of performance on the pitch, Aviolo was a sub man. Mainu started games. Did you see the bangers he scored? But uh, by, by the way, Kobe Mino had a very good season. Uh, I'm not going to take anything see, away from him see, from right November onwards. But nah. I know I still stick with my Again, he was in a shit team. I mean, when I watch him, it's like I watch a prime 28-year-old. But the guy is a teenager, man. Yeah. So, for me, I'd go with him as the proper young player. I think young players should be teenagers, not guys who are 20 like Palmer. Nah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Next one. Who's been the best keeper in the league? The one who won the Golden Glove. What are we talking about? <laughs> and I think the rhetorical questions. <laughs> I've been going to question. Uh, uh, best keeper in the league. Uh, you can't tell me the one who has made the most saves. It can't be him. It sure as hell cannot be that guy. Mm, best player. Can I give you a list to choose from? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have Pickford. Nah. Good shout. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Alisson. Nah. Nah. David Ryan. That guy. Achiapo. You meant. Nah. Uh, play, uh, goalkeeper of the season. Who not after Nini? Jose Sa? Ah, no, not Jose Sa. Fodderingham is the name I was looking for. Fodderingham is the guy I was talking about in the uh, previous video. Uh, I mean, the stats speak for themselves. I mean, I hate it, but it's rare. Yeah, yeah. Some other guys are a bit inconsistent. Okay. Who are the overachievers? Overachievers this season. Aston Villa. Oh, you mean player or team? Team. You can do both. Aston Villa, over yeah, teams, teams, yeah. teams, uh, Bournemouth. <sighs> yeah, I mean they went on an eight-game and winless run. Yeah, they turned it around. The head one was on the chopping board. Yeah, I think if they were to finish, if, Aston Villa if they were to finish for me in the top ten, for me it would be outright. But I think like the last four games they fell off, so they finished the bottom half. But I kind of feel like they, they sometimes I watch Bournemouth and go like, I. He won by one of my cooler nini, but especially when they came to OT, I just couldn't believe what I was saying. So I mean, let me stick with Bournemouth. I, I think Nanini on merit, on Aston Villa on merit. One thing I hate about Arsenal fans, they should be competing with City, but they compare themselves to Man United every single time. Why? No, I've not compared myself with Man United. We are shit United. this season. I'm talking we about Bournemouth. Eighth, but you still want to compare yourselves to us. See, so I'm comparing you with Bournemouth, who are 12. They are closer. You guys are closer. That's I fine. mean, why does Man United have to enter this conversation? See, the Bournemouth in December, the best performance Bournemouth produced this season was at Old Trafford. Could have Aston been Villa is the overachiever. A huge shout out to Everton. Okay. Oh, by the way, that one. We we'll transition into the moment of the season. What was your standard moment of the season? Ooh. In terms of. Anything, a moment. Ah, <sighs> moment of the season. Moment of the season. Is Jeremy Gardem Doku, a keeping a stud on, uh, was it Javier Elliott? McAllister. On McAllister, sorry. Naikui to a pen. How it was not called as a pen baffles me to death. Every other day that's a penalty. I don't see how Michael Oliver did not call it. But then again, Michael Oliver is a guy who goes to referee games in the UAE, a league owned by the owners of Manchester City. I can also name drop a few referee decisions that referee Michael Oliver has not made against Manchester City. Makes me question them a lot. Kovacic could not tackle Ali Piga or Degard, and then he was given a card. He made the same tackle on Declan Rice. No card given. 
of all the things in the world, I never thought Nya should be a conspiracy theorist. No, you'd make no, a really good one. No, honestly. I mean, all that evidence. Come on. You, you go out there for everybody. Go and work for anti-corruption. You'd, you'd, for context, for context. Michael Oliver for that game Alienda UAE he was paid £20,000. His games on Alipango £1,500. <laughs> I mean, moment of everyone knows this, even a five year old kid. Granacho, man, that overhead kick against Everton, that was moment of the season. I mean, even the, even the commentator lacked words to commentate to when that moment happened. That's moment of the season. He did not ask you the moments for Manchester United of the season. Ah, yeah. that's moment of the season. That's <laughs> my moment of the season. I just the moment of Manchester United. Where moment you have referee? No, you have charged two moments. Where Ganacho bow against Everton, what you call docked points? A bad workman quarrels with his tools. So I mean, I'm not surprised. Yeah, uh, but there are so many moments. This is a hard one to call. Yeah, it's a hard one. But for yeah. me, that Granacho overhead kick. Yeah, uh, I mean, even you, you are like. No, it, it's it's yeah. dope. It's dope. We finish it with the game of the season. Ah, uh, I go first. Yeah, Chelsea City four four. Yeah, I think that was game of the season, man. That was pure entertainment. I even loved that game. I'm sure. Yeah, I did. Fan. I mean, Chelsea were involved in some crazy ass games. Yeah, that even the four four City Spurs that was mad. Chelsea United. What happened there? No, 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 no. I mean, no, like no. two mediocre teams. We should not be talking about that. Um, I think the other one is is Arsenal Tottenham. That was three one. Much. Three yeah, two. Like three nil in the first. Is it 30, 40 minutes? And then just how it kind of turned around in the second half and Kaka and Kasno Maziwana Kujiwa. Crazy. I would also go for Liverpool Fulham 4 3. That was an interesting game. Although Fulham is not a top team, but I enjoyed that game. Yeah. Oh yeah. Harvard. Yeah. Scoring. Yeah. Also Luton Liverpool. Nakumukanania kipigwa Zwini is PR Lipigwa Namsa Luton. Luton only watches a wrestling. So that was unique to see. And still no call was made, but yeah. I've had a couple of moments. Hey, you used to watch wrestling when you were young. I still do. I'm a big still fan. Do. Hey, bye! Do you have, have watch SmackDown Do you have ambitions of joining WWE? <laughs> soon. Soon and very soon. Once the tribal chiefs comes back, the head of the table. What I'll would be your wrestling name? Bro, that's a good one. The tribal chief. Like Isha Enda. But you even lose before you start. No, no, no not really. I think I'll go along those lines. Tamatonga, those Samoans ones. I understand Samoans, they're very good in wrestling. So I'll take a, a line in that, you know. I think along Rey Mysterio, I think you have a lot in common. <laughs> Apart from hate, I don't think so. <laughs>